Did we get any chatter? Well, I guess we'll find out next time. On three men <laughs> and a let's play. Do 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 do. Well, welcome back. So today is my try run for adulthood. <laughs> uh, I have to defeat Jaden UK. I'm Pierce. I'm Chris. And I'm Nick. We still have to do our intros, gentlemen. My paper was defeated. Oh, hey, he's being nice. Oh, Your he's making me go defeated. second. So, so yeah, this is the episode where Chris has to prove himself, or else he gets banished to the Shadow Realm. What do you mean? The duel's done. He lost. His paper was defeated. That's it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will not allow this. Not bad. Double mirror force. Let's see here. Ufo turtle. Ufo turtle. Ufo. All right. That's so what let's it is, right? Let's see. Set this down. And we'll summon. We'll set this. Chris, why would you set a 600 defense monster? Because of his effect. When it gets destroyed, it gets. Uh, I get to destroy one face up creature they control and. You they should have started off strong and used that for when he brought out his bopper. Huh? Now the first creature that attacks is just gonna die. Well, Mickey, if he doesn't fucking win, then you can show us what to do next time, can't you? Instead of trying uh, to so support going, Chris in his last ditch that. effort. Well, he's trying to do his best, and you're I just can't. shit all what did I, I don't know what I did wrong, though. I destroyed not, his monster. I was. Yes, you destroyed you his 1200 it. attack monster. Congrats, Chris. You could have saved it for a much bigger monster in the future. Yes, that was my point. Assuming that I have given you no other Wasn't defenses the last in this deck. Five episodes of Yu Gi Oh! where we all I mean, put in our two cents. I mean, yeah. But it's cool. I'll just I'll just sit here and watch. <sighs> Alright, he's pollying. Mickey, I'm not saying that you can't put in uh, You're twisting this around on me. I don't I don't think so, man. It's pretty pretty sh blatant what you're trying to say, but that is not you're putting words in my mouth. Please don't put words in my mouth because no, that's not what I said. Words, what I said was don't shit all right over now. Chris and stress him out when he's trying to do his best. I'm not shitting on it. I was giving him an alternative route that he could have done. Yeah. Thus giving him insight for the future. Well, why didn't you do it before he did it? Hindsight's 2020. Do, do, like do, I can read this do, mofo's do, mind. Do, do. Well it looks like he's doing A okay. Gonna hold on to that boy for a while. Now you're in his head. Let's see here. Good. I'm a good person to have in your head. I don't know. In your head. Shut Let's up. See. Sure. God, that's the biggest earwig. Zombie! 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 Ha, ha, ha. I'm going to shove this pencil in your ear until it ruptures your eardrum. No, that's not the biggest earwig. What is it? What is it? What is There's this? plenty of other weird. Uh, for, for me, that's one of mine. One of my bad ones was always uh, Fallout Boy. Which one? The the. Where is your boy tonight? I hope he is a gentleman. Uh, yeah, I guess. I know that that song wasn't in my head long enough to, because that's the only part I know. Maybe he won't find out what I know. You were the last good thing about you know what's this a really good, part of town. You know what's a really good earwig? What's that? Um, ah, crap. What was the title of it? It's by B&L. I should have done that. B&L? B&L. I don't know who B&L is. Bare Naked Ladies. Oh, what is Chimpanzee. Oh, I've never had that shortened, but that is a good song. Fuck! Yeah, that is an old that song in too. B and L. Yeah. Really? What are you fucking listening to? O A R. No, we had it got shortened to B and L after they signed with Disney for fucking Chicken Little. Oh, that's right. They're still the bare naked ladies, but it's better. Just, you know, I'll just say B and L. It's like of... how Ninja Sex Party calls himself NSP. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, Mickey, I know that it's been one week since you looked at me. Crossed your arms to the side and said you're angry. Oh, speaking of which, like, I try looking up more of their songs and all I get are their stupid bathroom sessions. What? Who's that? Bathroom no. sessions. Yeah, they, when they, their YouTube channel has just, like, the amount of songs they have on an album versus the amount of bathroom sessions they've had is, okay. is, is like 1595. Jesus, Chris, you're just wiping the floor with this bitch. Mm hmm. Me and Mickey just been bickering about stupid shit. It's not even five minutes and Chris is almost done. <laughs> I mean, yeah. This, just, <laughs> this is just casual, casual conversation between Pierce and Mick with a little Yu-Gi-Oh in the background. Yeah, right. If you need some visual stimulation, there you go. Well, me and Pierce titillate the mind with our opinions. We talk about bare naked ladies. 
they might be giants. Also, I just murdered Jade and Yugi, so I guess I'm I'm a man now. Yeah, yeah. Now you can <laughs> now you get to pick your own fight. All right. Let's see. Now I don't care about scores. But it's still on a probationary basis. If you lose two duels in a row, you have to give it up. Basis. Yeah, he's on secret de deca double I probation. I am going to fight. Where's the guy with the weird ass nose? There he is. Claw man. Chumley? I have. I don't know who he is. Chumley. You got good cheese, bro? Mm. Koalas. That's okay. what he's about. Sleeping, koalas, and grilled cheeses. Oh. Koalas are adorable. It's so, a shame what's happening to them. And grilled cheeses are delicious. In Australia, koalas are known as drop bears. Uh. I don't know if that's true. I think that's a myth. I guess we better ask our Australian audience. Hey, Uncle Weeb, if you're watching this episode, uh, what are they called? Drop bears, where you're from? <laughs> He's gonna be like, you talking about dingleberries? No. <laughs> the kind that when they let go, it gives you the kiss of Poseidon. No, we're not talking about fucking Wookie shit. Wookies are known for having lots of dingleberries. It's a fact. Wookies? Yeah, Wookies. Dude, I didn't I know that? <laughs> That's because I got all that hair. You so know, do you think... Sorry, uh, do you think uh, Wookiees sit there and groom one another? Yeah, probably. Yeah, they look like they would eat bugs. You know what it sounds like when a Wookiee's jerking off? Hmm. Same as anything else. <laughs> oh, no! Try doing that while making uh, Wookiee moans. I can't. <laughs> I can't do the. I can't. It's just I don't have enough mouth that, holes. That was fucking funny though. Just your attempt was good enough. Was <laughs> <laughs> a fucking cookie monster <laughs> having an orgasm. That sounds horrible. Oh, that's you asked for it, dog. Oh, it was worth it. I'll try anything once, twice if I like it. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Chris, come on, it's fucking Chumley. Yeah, but he's got a tree otter. What? He's also got fucking Desk Kangaroo, which everybody knows is a top tier monster. Fucking overused at least. I'm almost positive uh, that Yu Gi Oh's professional uh, circuit doesn't use the term overuse. As a Pokemon video game battling thing. No pyro monsters in the graveyard? No. You got any I mean, I should have done him and let him be destroyed and then summon him, but... You got any Piros? Kinda didn't happen that way. At least he has to discard a card every time he wants to attack. Oh, really? Yep, be because cool. of Gravekeeper Servant. Oh, that's not good, though. Triar. You need to get battered by you animals. You got me. You got any fives? Go fish. Fuck. Old maid. Gin rummy. This is not okay. There we go. That's cool. Fuck. What was the name of that? Oh. Uh, Canasta. Isn't that a board game? It's a card game, I think. Look it up. You got your phone. Yeah. Uh, Mickey, Mickey, are you playing a mobile game right now? Are you playing a mobile game, you motherfucker? He's well, been you... playing it since game one. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? I haven't had to do it. You are fucking playing another. You are cheating in the middle of fucking work? <laughs> yeah. This is, is this what I fucking pay you to do? Uh. Well, first off, I'm not actually playing. Put air quotes there for the you, audience that can't air see. Air quotes my balls! Oh, he's gonna gain a thousand life points. That'd be an interesting way to play with him, but I guess, uh, point being is that mm. it's an idle game. I'm not actually doing it. I'm just holding my phone. That's it. No different than any other recording. It's just a stupid bitch. Mickey, you and I... Me or the... No, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the one monster he put in defense mode what didn't get destroyed, but it's the one that my mask is attached to. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. I was playing Digimon World 3 on my phone. I was fucking off training Vmon. <laughs> you could do that passively? Yeah. You can why not do it? Because I'm focusing on the fucking show to bring quality entertainment to the people who are nice enough 
to take 10 minutes out of their fucking day to listen to us! <laughs> well, it seems like uh, since you haven't noticed until now, and I've been doing a pretty bang up job, so. Because it's silent and I'm focusing on doing my job, which so is commentating and being funny and this playing seems, this game! Because it seems more like that you're focusing now on me now instead of what's going on. And oh, now am you're I? just taking. Now, what could have been taken air behind the scenes is now. Well, out because in the air. now the dirty laundry's out in the air, I fucking caught you, you rat shit bastard! I wasn't hiding it, so there's nothing to be caught with. Are you coming in here at 3 a.m. laying down flute tracks? What the fuck? I'm saying the same thing. Like, what is that in reference to? Uh. <laughs> There's a tenacious- Really? That was a thing? What? Big claw. So he, so he attacked, destroyed See, now it. look what happened. And We're not paying attention. So he attacked with a monster, used a card that allowed him to swap that monster, which then allowed him to attack with that new monster to attack the card that I just brought out. What the fuck? Well, yeah, you could do swaps and still have a battle phase. Smart. Fuck. Put down the. I can't because then that decreases it. Six hundred attacks. Fuck! I can't <laughs> do the special thing. What's his do other? The, yeah, what's his other down. defense? Huh? Wait, isn't that the thing that destroys it? Yeah. Put him down. Oh wait, yeah, because I was trying to do. Uh... You're no. in your own head, set. Chris. Set. Set. Oops. Do not summon set. Oh yeah. Accidentally click summon. Oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna destroy it with brute attack because the girl was gonna add that onto it. No. This one's safe. It would have been mad. Oh, it still would have been stronger. Just end your turn and hope you draw another monster next turn and you should be fine. Everything should be fine. It should be fine. I mean, he's been losing a lot of cards because of that card. Don't have anything Oosh. to boost it back. All right, now I just need a small, good monster Any I can use. Fire. Hey, that works out great. <laughs> Perfect. Blazing and Pachi, add that arrow and fucking annihilate this fat bitch. I hope so. Oh, he's actually fat. Now I feel bad. You bastard. But yeah, so on the Tenacious D album, Rise of the Phoenix, they have a skit where it's fucking Kyle in the recording booth. And he's laying down flute tracks. Fucking and skate And fucking JB catches him at like two in the morning. I'll play it for you after this episode so you guys can hear it. It's super fucking funny. Well, Chuck's on him. He can't use those for anything. That's one of the things he said. You can't use Come them for in. sacks? Lean down. No, you Lean can't tracks. sacrifice uh, or tribute scapegoat. Oh. It's just there for for wall. Yep, it's just a wall. It's not like how on the show that you use scapegoat and then, like, sacrificed. At least Pro I think that's what he did. His powers. We don't have a machine on the field. Bring out a... Yeah, just keep picking his shit away. Just I think we have I was gonna say, though. just attack his face down, then will <clears throat> Then he's, then his other spots will be taken up constantly. Yeah, good point. Because he if you can't do anything, all he did was just limit his own shit. Oh shit, he has a tree otter. I thought you were just making up names. Oh, he has a he's setting up bait. He's definitely setting up bait. That machine? Yeah it is. Cool. I keep taking out his goats. Let's see. Use the bait. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna attack these two guys. I mean, okay. Well, the no, use your weaker one first. I was gonna attack the one that's face up, because even well, he can gain a thousand until the end of the turn. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, then use twenty-two fifty. Yeah, that's who I'm attacking with. I'm in battle phase. I'm glad we're all on the same page. Just such an odd amount. 50. I'll take it. That's fine. It, it wouldn't have given him any... It was Everything goes down to zero with that card. Oh no, my name's Chris. I've only got 400 life points and I don't know what I'm going to do except for all the amazing cards my friend gave me while thinking of us <laughs> while he built the deck that Mickey also doesn't believe in. I never said I didn't believe it. Yes, you did. You're like, I want to make my own deck because Pierce makes shitty fucking decks and has a tiny dick. My name's Mickey. That's not what he That's said. That's exactly what he said. No, I heard it. I'm saying... Let, let's. All right, all right. For those who watch this episode, please leave a comment below if you'd like to see each of us have our own personal decks while we play this Yu-Gi-Oh game. Yeah, that, that would way you the rather audience... see us have individual, unique, personalized decks for all three of us? 
or one unique deck as a team for all three of us combined? <laughs> Which they've already seen. But see, your, your argument is that it's boring watching the same deck, but if you go in and retool it, not only does it make it more you, but it also makes it more new. Mickey, you're not looking at all the possibilities. You just don't want to share your deck structure ideas because you want to make some crazy shit. Yeah. That's, that's I'm saying like Chris has been you. here at 400 life points for the last six years, and here he is surviving. Yeah. I'm proud of him. All right. And then there was that other duel where he was at 100 and he may have lost, but he was at 100 for like two years as well. Let's see how this goes. What is, this, what is the point? The point is, is you should believe in us as a and, team. And at no point have I said that this is a shit deck. There is an I in Mickey, but there's no I in three men and a let's play. There you go, he's dead. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't get the point here. I'm just... Oh boy! Well, I locked in my ability to be a man again, cause I lost. I won both my fights. <laughs> All right. Well, next time on Three Minute of Let's Play, we bring you more stuff with star chips and time roulette, harpy's feather duster. Isn't that the first season? I don't know. Classy. Uh, Wing Karibo. That's weird. Yeah, that's that's the chick that's inside his head. Long story, season four. So.